war, favoritism, science, a lethal combination. Tonight on American History Mysteries. With the impending doom of a global threat, our government began financing experimental weapons to keep our nation safe. Although weapons like the atomic bomb were successful, other military projects had less than positive results. Today in American History Mysteries, we focus on a secret project so expensive threw our country into financial debt we have yet to escape from. To avoid embarrassment, the following newsreel was never shown to the general public. Until now. Griffin Industries is proud to present USA Teleplay. Brought to you by Box of Wheat. It's good for the whole family. The year, 1942. The country, America. The world, in jeopardy. With an international threat on the horizon, our men in uniform are gonna need more than a couple of dancing girls in skirts to keep them feeling fit as a fiddle. How about you, Private First Class? Are you worried about this international threat? I'm terrified. Well, chin up, Charlie. The Secretary of War has financed the most expensive weapon in the history of America. A giant robot. A, a giant robot? You betcha. This is an actual thing that actually happened. Let's hear what Secretary of War Henry Stimson has to say. Well, the president had us all gibbering and jabbering about how to defend ourselves from this international threat. Everyone had some newfangled idea, but I decided to go with a secret weapon designed by one of our top men. Hi, I'm Dennis Wesby. My stepdad said I could make a robot. Yes, he's my wife's son. But that had nothing to do with the United States government giving him one trillion dollars to build a robot. I didn't even know that was a real number. <laughs> I made it up. Look, he's a sweet kid with a lot of fun ideas. <laughs> Is that a real movie camera? Am I gonna be in the movies? So we wrote him a check and he started building. What have I done? Over the next six months, 200 men worked day and night to bring Dennis Weatherby's creation to life. That giant robot stands over 10 stories tall. That's a real humdinger. Sir, the giant robot is set for its trial run. Everything's set to go? We're all aces, Captain. Hot dog. All right, where's this inventor, Dennis Weatherby? Here I Wait. am. Look, uh, let's get going, all right? Let's fire her up. Sensitive. Just gonna punch something in for his voice box. Okay, now we're gonna find the right key. There we go. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Here goes something. Attention, giant robot, attention. My name is General Ted Bigsby of the United States Army. Hi, my name is Trevor. I'm a giant robot. Why does he sound like that? What do you mean? You don't like my voice? Who gave him that weird voice? And wh why does he have an accent? Why don't you like my voice? He sounds terrible, sir. Look, you're going to have to change his voice. It's the least intimidating voice I've ever heard. And why did you name him Trevor? I'm worth a trillion dollars! Stop making fun of me! Uh, sir? Hit the deck! Why don't you like my voice? Minutes, the giant robot had found itself in a near 
nearby metropolitan area. Citizens ran screaming for their lives. What's that such a horrible thing! Horrible? That hurts my feelings! Why does it talk like that? Ah! It took weeks to disable the giant robot, and over time the story fell into obscurity. However, one mystery still remained. After searching through the inventor's financial ledgers, researchers discovered Dennis Weatherby had only spent a quarter of a trillion dollars building the giant robot. So, where did the rest of the money go? I spent it all on candies. Well, that's one more mystery solved. Tune in next time for more American History Mysteries. <laughs> <laughs>